He is the first Midrick Kiel at your service. And, uh, yeah, the ship's pet is currently cuddled against my arm. So, uh, yeah, Ink is here as well. Uh, she has no intention of moving away. Last, last stream, she was also trying to get on my desk, so I just locked her out of the room. But, uh, yeah, she's here now, so she's really limiting my arm movement. Anyways then, uh, last time we forgot to thank a new follower, uh, Grilled, Teams, uh, Grilled Cheese Supremes, thank you for the follow. And uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing today is Showcase Sunday, of which I've again forgotten to... I've forgotten what number we're on. So yeah, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just figure that out later. For now though, what we do on this... Uh, almost bi-weekly thing because i have e every other weekend off about uh, is that we well we try out about four games sometimes one or two more depending on time and such uh, for about uh, half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming now or later <clears throat> and the one we're starting off with as i try to get my hand on my mouse again underneath ink is Black Skylands, which is still an early access game, and I've played this one before, as well can be seen here. But uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this game, though it is still in development, so let's get started, and I I'll start the timer. I might see a little bit of this on shore. I, I know I've seen it recommended on YouTube. I think I found it through the Steam Discovery queue. Mom, Mom. Dear Eva, happy birthday. Please take a seat. Breakfast, yeah, breakfast is almost ready. Mom, that ship is at the pier. I saw it in the spy glass. Daddy's back. He made it. I told you he'd be back in time. You're right. Your dad lives in. Your, your dad is in the living room, but he asked not to be disturbed. So, Daddy, I'm coming. <laughs> of course. Okay, this game is a top-down. Uh, where we move with WASD. I could probably use the controller as well, but I'll be using it for a different game later. For now, there. Daddy, you've been away for so long. Like a hundred years, or two hundred. I, I missed you so, so much. Eva, didn't t Mom tell you that I'm really busy? Richard the Earner. Happy birthday. Where have you been? What did you find? Did you reach the end of the sky? Did you see the uh, whale father? Tell me everything. Slow down, you'll find out everything later at the fair. But now I've got a job for you. I left one box on my ship. Be a pet and run and get it. Okay. Hmm, a box. Find Admiral Richard commands and... Uh, yep. Admiral Richard commands and Captain Eva obeys. Set sail. <laughs> uh. Hey, but I, I like the art style. The, the only thing I am mixed on is whenever they talk they do some bloody what would you describe the sound uh jittering yeah uh, it, it's more it, the text getting written out i think than actual voice lines and yeah we can move around with this uh hook shot here <laughs> no need to go through a dungeon to get this thing we just start off with it yeah, oh yeah okay yeah i think now realize i have seen a little bit of this do i was watching it on this side while role playing on the computer, so. Mm, yeah, we can drag some stuff around, like this mystery box. And there we go. Let's see. <clears throat> Eva, this is a gift for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my daughter. Oh, wow, what is it? A pistol? <laughs> Look like a real, like a real pirate? You wouldn't believe how hard it was to get. Nobody else in the Spira has a pistol like that anymore. Thank you, Dad. Can we go and play? <laughs> you can be my bosun like before. Sorry, there's no time. I need to prepare for the fair of achievements. Meanwhile, Eva, you help me. I asked I ask Aaron to get berries for, yeah, for the cake, but your brother's still not back. He probably got to playing with the hunters again. Go see Uncle Kane. He should know. And he can teach you how to use your pistol at the same time. Grandpa Oswald, you came too. Of course, granddaughter. How could I forget about your birthday? Here's your gift. Amazing, a moth, a living one. She's so sweet. Thank you, Grandpa. 
I think you're already old enough to have your own moth. Her name is Luma. Luma, you're so great. You want to go for a walk? <laughs> and yeah, we we'll be using a lot of firearms, and Luma will be very useful also. Uh, first off, though, uh, let me set this. I wanted to show that. There, I. I really should make it a note to just put on "Do Not Disturb" on Steam as a ba as a as a preparation thing. It's probably a good idea. There we go. What have you got there, little miss? A toy pistol. Want me to show you a real one? One that hurts people. Crash! You're frightening the girl. Get out of my sight before I get angry. And think about what you're doing. Forgive my comrade, Eva. Eva, he's a fool, a sick man. Don't waste your bullets on him. Does your pistol not shoot? I think it does, but I don't know how. It's cool though, isn't it? Dad gave it to me, Uncle Kane. Teach me what to do with it. <laughs> since when have I been uncle? Since when have I been uncle? Mom told you. Uh, yeah, Mom told me to call you uncle now. Since you've become the chief hunter. Well, if Lawrence said so. Let's have a look. A normal pistol, just take aim and pull the trigger. Smoothly. Try it. What? And, yeah, it's a Nerf gun. There you go. Who's a beautiful bird? Who's so clever? You are my pride and joy. Look, my feathered comrades, proud of you too. Your falcon's grown so big and graceful. Thanks, Eva. And joking aside, you're a born shooter. Only one eye, but a sharp one, right? Look after it. If you uh, if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to be known as the world's first blind, blind sniper. <laughs> you know, this year I set up a training camp for young uh, fighters like you near camp when uh, near Carpenter's Valley. Valley. Oh, I bet your camp's where Aaron flew off to. Your brother's done a runner again. All right, he was pestering me about the camp yesterday. So that's bad news for my boys and girls. Will you save them? Sir, sure, we just need to patch up Daddy's ship. I'll go and find Uncle Jim. Okay, we can Wait. run, which speeds us up a bit. So, he became my uncle for getting been promoted to Hunter Chief. Uh, it's, it's a no, okay. He's not actually an, an uncle, he's just a uh, yeah, family friend. Yeah, but still... It still sounds weird that you get the title of uncle for get a promotion. Hold on a second. Is something off here? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, for some reason, <laughs> this, for some reason, the model's lips aren't really moving much. Okay. Anyways, then. Happy birthday, Eva. But what's your daddy like, huh? Vanishes for nearly a year, gets everyone worried, then comes back for the fair in the nick of time. Hi, hey, Eva. What's that, a pistol? Seriously, let me have a look. I don't know what Richard brought back this time, but look how his eyes are burning. You get the feeling the Osnians uh, won't be able to compete with our fair this year. Uncle Jim, maybe you could take me to the hunter's camp. That'd let me take a ship, though it does need repairs. Of course, just let me finish work. Come back a bit later. Eva, let me disassemble your pistol. I'll put it back together, promise. LC girl, maybe you should give me the repair kit. I'd fix the <laughs> ship. I'd fix the ship myself and get flying. What do you say? Are you kidding, Eva? That will be furious. For a while, then you we'll forget about it. Come on, what's life without adventures? I'll fly there and straight back. Nobody will even notice. Well, all right, just don't tell Dad. Here. <laughs> yeah, these repair kits will need a ton of them throughout this game because you need them to repair. Oh, it's. Okay, they put it in the warehouse. Uh, yeah, we'll need these for the repair our ship constantly. And hello there, Lance. It, going well, I'd say. Even though I have a cat blocking half of my, three quarters of my mouse mat, more accurately. Maybe you need a bigger table. Uh, actually, you know, you need a bigger room. Yeah. There we go. I'd like to look for Aaron at Bar uh, Borber's sawmill. Mom said he'd flown there. I hope he's all right. The ship's probably not fueled, so drop by the fuel station on your way. Okay, thanks, girl. Okay. 
to take control of a ship yep. and stop kicking. Okay, we just head up to the controls and press E. And yeah, here's the stats for the ships, how much we can hold in our <clears throat> how much we can hold in our hold. Uh how much of it is filled, the ammunition on board, the repair kits on board, uh, health, fuel, and energy. Energy is for special abilities, like in the middle of the screen. And Do yeah, I... from here, we just press forward to start flying. And if we stop, it'll eventually decelerate, but oh well. Oh dear, I, I'm grinning at a lot at the moment. Things to lounge at the moment on chat. <laughs> well, cat and mouse games are to be expected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is how we'll store most of our fuel and such. There we go. It's about half a gem for... Every, I'm not sure, liter or something? Anyways, just fill it up. And there we go. We can stash the rest. It's generally a good idea to have one or two of these. And let's continue on. And yeah. Wherever you go in this game, you're likely to see some other, uh, yeah, some other ships and things down lower in the atmosphere. Okay. Ooh. We want to break those because those have gems for us to collect, and hello. Another young earner who's come to show off her abilities. Nobody's been able to beat my record yet. Your obnoxious brother's here too. Uh, he's tr he tried to pass the test incognito. That little got into a box and almost made it to the end of the test. <laughs> so he saw and snaked it. But the kid was too big and he got stuck in the box. We didn't bother to pull him out. Once you've done the test, take him back with you to the father ship. The engineers there can work out how to get him out of the box. <laughs> your test begins. Use all your skills, Eva, but you're still not going to beat me. Okay. okay. Yeah, if we fall too low from somewhere, we will start taking health damage. To reach further, roll off the ground with space and then use the hook. Yeah, we can dodge roll. There we go. And yeah, we'll be seeing plenty of combat like that. Let's see. Increased health, increases health regeneration for one minute 30. Okay. Uh, in some places you'll be able to find stuff on the ground for temporary buffs. Also, that's a, <laughs> those are pretty big guns to put into, to use well, with whatever sort of stuff they're using yeah, for non-lethal fire. Also, you can use the grappling hook to grab people and just pull them towards you to kick their ass. Eva, Eva, I'm in here, in the box. I almost made it to the end of the test. I was invisible and unstoppable. True, I, I did get stuck in this box. Can you take me to Uncle Jim, the head of engineers? He'll look out how to get me out of here. My eggs are going numb. Uh, yeah, just gotta pull his ass out with that and bring him back. Yep. At first, we'll also have to get through here. Oh, it's a metal box. Oh, then it's the... Then, yeah, I can see what any engineer. Yeah. But have you seen a wooden box? He could... Pry himself... Oh, pardon. Uh, pry himself open, but... A metal one? That complicates things. Yeah. Is that blood? Did the young earner be decide to become one of us? Hmm, just paint. How disappointing. Did you find your brother? Shove him in the hole and fly home. It's time for the real professionals to train. Oh, yeah, dear. people getting shoved into boxes for transport is a bit of a thing in this game. So yeah, oh, there we go. Dear. And again, back down. Again, it has happened in real life. Enough that they actually had to start doing controls and just outright banning people from uh, sending people uh, through mail. Yeah, I I can't think of any specific cases, but I do know that people have been stupid enough to try and ship themselves to places 
Though a lot of times they either froze to death or suffocated because, well, there's a lot less oxygen and heat in those ship in the plane uh, holds than you expect. Yeah, the kind of where they doing double checks nowadays to avoid that. In the past, you were most likely to be in a train or something, but nowadays when you can be in a plane's cargo hold and all, it kind of becomes a bit more serious. Okay. Oop. Blocked off the edge there. Okay, now we just need to move him over. Just click, and it will move, be moved to the other storage. Aaron, how did he even get in there? Hello, Con Jim. People tend to underestimate boxes. <laughs> As the head of engineers, you must understand that. Just imagine how many people you could carry in boxes at once. You'll see, when I grow up, that's how everyone would travel. You're a funny kid, Aaron. All right, let's get you out of there. We'll grease you with motor oil and you'll pop out like a cork. Close your eyes and mouth. Well, it's not wrong. Have you seen cars? <laughs> okay, there's a bit... Uh, there's a bit of a lack of roads uh, on this place, though, as you can see. Sweetie, you're just in Ooh. time. I want to show the heads of the factions my discovery. Or do you want to walk around some more till everyone gets here? Basically, do we want to keep playing in the prologue, or do you want to move on? And I think something's off with the band, the wristband of my fitness tracker or something. Okay. That, so what did Uncle Richard bring? I can't wait to have a look. Elsie, stay with me. Enough of doing your own thing. Everything's clear. You can begin. Commander Elden. Bruce the scientist, at last. My dear friends, any discovery requires long searching and sacrifice, but earners are ready for that. We live for tomorrow. The average person will find it difficult to accept what, uh, what you're about to see. Up till now, you've been living in blissful ignorance, but it's time to say farewell. <laughs> blissful ignorance? It'll be even more blissful to see the miserable face of the guys from you know, Un Uznia, when we showed him Aspia's great, you know, that great new discovery. I'm more interested in science and politics. Maybe now examine the object. How impatient you are. Well then, welcome to the future. Yeah, but... Where did you dig up that monstrosity? Is it dangerous? It's a sample of the swarm. That's what I've named the species of animal that lives in the eternal storm. For a long time, those lands were hidden to us, hidden from us. I love this mix of pixel and 3D layers. Yeah, it is very well done. Oh yeah, but it's I am very team... well done. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. But I and my team were able to penetrate into the storm and discovered there are extra yeah, there are an extraordinary ecosystem. Before you is one of the inhabitants. We gave it the name Linger. No doubt his appearance frightens you, but this is a peaceable creature, and furthermore, he's under the influence of a tranquilizer. You only get claws like that on a predator. Trust the hunter's instinct. Yeah, those are some big ass claws. <laughs> Elsie, get behind me. I've personally seen how Linger eats the grasses of the eternal storm, samples of uh, which I brought with me. He's no carnivore, and he's not aggressive. That remains to be seen. I can't wait till the two of you get started on our experiments together. Let me get a closer look at you. That might not be the best idea. Are you crazy? Keep away from it. My gut tells me that creature's dangerous. Come on, Uncle Kane. A funny little thing like that. Aaron. Come on! Oh. 
you can see that things have kind of gone to shit. Because of one stray shot. No, really? Really? It looks so peaceful. <laughs> and yeah. Here we are with Eva again. Finished coffin. I think that's the last coffin today. Yeah, <laughs> it did. That's the coffins already. Today we lost many people. Parents, friends, children. For seven years now we've had darkness without end. But that's no reason to give up. We continue to fight for our fallen comrades and for the future generations of Aspia. The sky is always hungry. The sky is always hungry. Becoming a master of funeral addresses. I'm so tired of losing people. As if we don't have enough troubles with the swarm, now Kane's Falcons have gone crazy. Things will, get, yeah, things will get better soon. I think you'd better rest. Today was a long day. Probably. Hey, Kane's Falcons are flying this way. They want to finish what they started. Quick, hide the children in the hole and grab arms. Don't panic, I won't let the Falcons do anything. Like you. Didn't let them bomb the entire ship. Please accept my condolences. I'm sorry that there was a misunderstanding between Kane's Falcons and the Earners. Misunderstanding? Your militia fired on the father ship without me with the howitzer you swore you'd use against a swarm. People died. That's why I flew here. I want to apologize. I didn't want those deaths any more than you did, Richard. I am a keeper of order, not a killer. We've just sent a dozen coffins on, uh, coffins on their final journey. What are you after that? Yes, if not a killer. I... Unfortunately, sometimes my lieutenants let me down. There are times when they don't follow orders. But I swear to the residents of the Aspia, of Aspia that I won't allow any more indiscipline. Lieutenant Mort, what do you have to say for yourself? Morse must, be so must say sorry for playing with the ownership. Mort promises he won't do it again. Good boy, Mort. And to make sure you don't forget your promise, three dozen lashes await you back at Kane's Fort. No, please no. Take him away. Now let's talk about you, Richard. I know about your plans to go to the Eternal Storm, and I'm here to prevent you. Stop. Are you saying we should wait until those monsters swallow us up? Not me. In the storm, I'll find something to use against the swarm. I'll have to go there as soon as possible. You don't change, Mariner. You spit on all of us and act like a hero, but you're just making it harder for me to defend the people of Aspia. Remember, Richard, I'm following your every move, and will destroy the fathership before I let you run away. My family always thought of you as one of our own. This is how you thank, this is how you thank us? You've taken me and my children hostage. The children are safe, and give my word as a falcon. I wish no harm on Eva or Aaron. I'm just preventing you from making mistakes. Mistakes? It'll be a mistake for all of us to... Yay, ink kicking again. It'll be a mistake for all of us to back into a corner like pathetic animals and devour each other while we wait for death. Do you think I'm pathetic? Well then. Okay, what a lovely surprise. I didn't expect you so early in the morning. Now you're here, will you help me prepare for Eva's birthday? I can't believe my little girl's already 11. Now time flies. Someone is a bit out of it. Aaron, snap out of it. Your daughter's 18 now. I sent Eva to look for Aaron. That rascal just slipped through the clouds again. Please, Kane, help Eva if she comes to, uh, to you. And fly over there here more often. It's always a pleasure to have a cup of tea with you. I certainly miss Mills. Or Mrs. Mills, I'd be delighted. Richard, I hope we, uh, we've understood one another. 
I'm leaving Lieutenant Crash here with you, just in case you happen to forget what I've said. I need to find some sort of decoy for ink. Hmm. Orin refuses to see Kane's wickedness. Eva, something's broken in your mother and it just won't go back in place. But it's not forever. So many years have passed already. Time alone isn't enough to heal some wounds, my daughter. Oh, Eva, I almost forgot. Grandpa Oswald was looking for you. The old man is still hoping to teach somebody from the family how to grow a crop. Hmm. <clears throat> Grandpa, Dad said you wanted to see me? Oh, my granddaughter, that I did. Your father was absolutely useless on the farm. He always ran away from home when it was sowing time. That's the owner he is. We must think not only of the dead. The living people need feeding. We are the earners, Eva. Don't forget that. I'm leaving. The earners need me at the moth nest. It's hard for everyone now. What do we do to deserve this? I understand, Grandpa. I think I'll manage. I used to like picking cabbage when I was small. I'll leave you my books and cultivation, and you'll quickly learn everything from them. And now it's time I left. I hope you'll see, I'll see you again soon. Okay, this will in, this will instruct us on one of the parts for the the game, because there are a lot of uh, open lots, so to say, at the moment. Oh, that's the timer. I'll finish up with this, and then we'll move on. So we need to clear off all of the debris, even this little bit that was hiding under the tree. And then we can select something to build here from resources we can find all over the place. But let's start with the garden. Two wood and two stone. Nice! And yeah, here we can grow some foods, like these cabbages. They will need time to grow, though. Puma, did you manage it? Did you find Aaron? You've been away for ages, so I'm so happy to see you. In her legs, Lumo holds a rectangular device with a note stuck to it. That's an adorable muff. <laughs> Eva, it's Aaron. I don't want to celebrate too early, but I think I found a way to get rid of the swarm. First, we'll have to show you something. Fly to Mills Island. This is important. In the tablet that Loomis brought you, there's a map that will help you navigate. P.S. Don't say a word to father. Thank you, Loomis. Oh, Aaron, what's this all about? And... Um, yep. We have our tablet here. And... Uh, before you fly to the island, compare your power with the power of the island. If your power is less than that of your enemies, a skull icon will appear above their head. Such enemies will be extremely difficult to defeat without raising your power. And, yeah, in here we can find a bunch of things like our journal with objectives and such that we've done and need to do, our equipment, of which we have none at the moment, and our skyships. Of which we only have this one at the moment, but we can eventually swap out parts of it that, well, have more power to them. And also our wait, resources. It might, you might have more than one, probably, even. Uh, actually, I'll just... Uh, save and quit here uh for, oh i meant i didn't mean to go out of the game itself entirely also that brought up the bra open up a browser uh let me open it up real quick again because i did have that other save there about eight hours in and uh yeah you can get quite a f you can get a good selection of skyships and adjust them quite a bit also can i have that turned off or something and yeah, it is still in early access. So it is getting expanded as it goes. I think I've reached the point of where the tail will go at the moment. Also nice, just nice pixel work again. And uh, yeah, we can get quite the collection of weaponry and quite the selection of weapons as well uh, uh, on the ship as well. Yeah, how it Ooh. serves. <laughs> Different sails, different engines. They're generally, the more powerful ones are the more better ones. Though you, they sometimes they do bring some disadvantages. 
like the amount of weight that they have. There's a certain there's a weight limit on each of these ships. And at the moment I have got I have three at the moment. We have the basic one, which is a bait of an all-rounder. Then there's the needle, which is a speedier one. And then there's the elephant. And well, <laughs> you can guess what that is. It is the strongest <laughs> that I have at the moment, but it's also the slowest, and we use up a hell of a lot of fuel, as you can see here. There are other ships, but they yeah, they are quite... Actually, I don't remember how many more there are, but they are quite pricey. So, let me just get shipyards. Actually, no, not the shipyards. One of the other buildings that you can make over here. Yeah, the ship workshop. We Here we can make new bases or me, 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 different halls. Upgrade certain things. Upgrade our weapons and make new ones. And yeah, this is the one ship for uh, the one ship that I haven't been able to make yet, the Stingray. For that, I need to find red uh, redwood. Though I'm not entirely sure if the resources you can find are limited because I haven't actually. Okay, those were not there before. Okay, those errors must be air currents or something. Okay. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of space around the fly-through. Holy. And, yes, we can even go into that internal swarm, internal storm over here. Which is quite hazardous, because it refuses to be mapped. You can see that there are no solid uh, land masses or sky masses in there. That's because they... I, they seem to be randomized. I'm not sure if they are randomized per uh, per safe or does he just randomize every time. Also, that's a nice bit of artwork. And I, okay, don't open up that. It's a it's open up. A, it opens up a survey on quitting that didn't happen before. It is a bit annoying. Just give that as an option to refuse that, please. But yeah, that's the first one. I, yeah. Once that once it releases fully, I would not be against streaming it. The same, like it, I did feel like the prologue was a bit rough, but once the prologue was over and they were more grown up, I felt like the dialogue was much better. And this will be the second game, Bladed Fury. Princess Yi was accused of murder and exiled. To prove her innocence and rescue her sister. She went on the journey. Oop. In fact, it's going a bit fast. And I think it's easy to see what kind of game this is. I guess slash Castlevania? Yep. I had seen of this game before, but I've never actually played it myself. Okay, big fucking gun. Oh, come on, Lance. <laughs> Okay, let me move it up a bit, so it's in the usual space where I put the games. There we go. Okay. It... Hmm. Okay, it's not... Re Give me a moment. It seems that the controller is refusing to connect again. Or rather, for some re stupid reason, there we go. Yeah, there seems to be something going on with my Bluetooth settings lately that they refuse to work until I re uninstall certain drivers that keep getting reinstalled. And it seems that one of the things that is happening with it constantly is that the, my Xbox controller gets uh, unpaired with the computer. So just let me pair that up again. Yeah, that sounds like a weird thing. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, come on, connecting. 
It, it almost like, like you drive it does not like to be connected to multiple wireless things. I didn't have problems with that before. It's something uh, something in Windows must have updated to break it, which well is not is not a big surprise. Okay, there we go. It's connected, but it's not. There we go. Okay, uh, let me take a quick look here. English. Okay, nothing on subtitles, but they were in the intro, so I'm presuming they are in normal gameplay as well. Oop, and Ink has finally gotten enough and is taking off. Give me a second, we'll let them out. There we go. <clears throat> okay, then. Let's start. New game. Um, yep. Let's try easy for now, since we don't know how easy, how quick, uh, how much I'll get my ass kicked here. Yep. Is this some Lance said something again? I can't see at the moment. Something is broken by a Windows <laughs> uh, update. SOP. Uh, I forget what SOP stands for, but. Oh, standing operating procedure. <laughs> okay, easy and start the timer. Let's see, and then these take less damage. Okay, a driver update, what the fuck? Okay, I'll pause the timer until we actually get to gameplay. Special side super armor. Oh, I could just. 对于生存在我这个时代的人来说，荒诞的事情每天都在发生。像是军父强取新妇，沉下刺杀王上，宁臣残害忠良，多岛都不能够得上荒诞标准的时候，弑君弑父好像就没那么令人啧啧称奇了
They, there has been a, a found scale mail armor made of jade, but you, it, well, it may have been just decorative, and since it would be way too heavy for someone to carry. Yeah. And yeah, I got it right. Standard operating procedure. <laughs> Let's see. Yellow and green souls after killing monsters. Use yellow souls to upgrade abilities and green souls to restore HP. Okay. Oh, come on. I, am I having two Hillians here? <laughs> Looks like it. Duke Kang of Key. Hello. Is young? Yep. Uh, uh, I'm pressing the button, but it's not actually doing anything. Oh, that was left, not right. Okay. Up too early. Okay. What the hell are you? Some sort of demon, very obviously. Uh, right trigger at any time. Okay. Basically, a uh, heal, <laughs> a healing jar. Oh, here we go again. I don't think you'd want to be walking around in this coop. Sequenced. Uh. Oh, that's a new. There we go. That's not good. <laughs> I'd love to just walk around this. Unfortunately, it's a side scroller. Also, did nobody else see the big blue demon? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit confused about that. Unless they uh, demon temporarily control the father as a host, and when he killed the demon, he died. Uh, Someone been stealing from the dead. Well, I guess we stole them back. Cicada wings, an heirloom of the Jiang clan. Is normally contained in the cicada orb and used as a shield when necessary. Incredibly light, but also extremely durable. Okay, so this is our shield. Oh, press the uh, left, left button just before the exact moment of being attacked. So, a counter attack. Okay. So, basically, like, a, like parry in Valheim? Yeah. Well, parrying yes. in most things. Yeah, and yes, people, I've been watching some Valheim videos again since. Yeah, I'm excited for Miss Lance. New update that's coming out soon. Yeah, trademark. It, yeah, yeah, it's uh, in 
in the beta phase for people to test out fan box and give feedback. This is good, and that means when they finally launch it, it should be extra polished. Yep. That's a bit of a leap. Shahides, so if, uh, if you <laughs> if you think a certain someone is behind the killing of your father, then I don't think you will be safe when you're getting married to that same person. In this case, it might be he ma marrying her for the political power. Uh, he was getting she was getting married off yeah, in an arranged marriage, so yeah, of course it was for political reasons. Yeah. And it means if she is married to her and the father dies, then then her land is his land. It is a complicated situation. Like I think it originally meant for building alliances, but as you can see here and see it can very painfully be abused. Yeah. Actually I think that's one of the easiest ways in the Crusader you know, Kings games. To get more claim, to get more claims to land, just marry someone who has claims to somewhere. Okay, these oh, are save dear. points. Oh. I think someone joined. Oh, hello, Rom. Hello there. There, now she has a chain. Oop. Okay. Really? Huh? Ah, maybe Rob had uh, some uh, microphone the issues, or he accidentally clicked joining here. Um, I think we might be in the prequel for Bendy and the Ink Machine. Uh, what? The? Okay. I just now looked up to see if I was checking the recording here and see what was going on. Oh, crap. What the heck? So, uh, yeah, I think she's having second thoughts about that marriage. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta run. Damn it, <laughs> because we were held up by that jackass. Uh, pretty sure that means game over or dead. Oh dear. Okay, take two. Yeah, let's hope this game doesn't have too many instant death moments like that. If you You'll probably find some place to spend those souls on later, oh, <laughs> making this a Chinese Dark Souls in a bit. I guess. Would you ever consider playing Bendy and the Ink Machine? Uh. And I, I've seen a complete playthrough of it, so it would, at the very least, it wouldn't be. A, uh, an uninformed playthrough. You, you uh, do know this sequel recently released, right? Yep, and I've also seen that playthrough completely. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, the, the, thing uh, with, uh, the thing with Bendy and the Ink Machine is that it started out promising, but from the looks of it, people started to guess the plot twists that were coming up. And the creator, in response to that, didn't actually. Yeah, in, instead of. Uh, 
instead of sticking to their guns, they changed the story to to not have it be, uh, to well to be have it be something else. Oh, come on. So that that left a lot of people annoyed with the very obvious changes. Yeah, dude, the new game was not chapter based, at least. Tang 田氏派出重兵四处追凶追兵轻易不敢擅入是我的血这古玉所致的神剑你如果好好修炼必能发挥更大的作用这赤销乃是我当年设置的剑士所炼化而成烈日破土I heard that the sun. I recall some Chinese myth about firing an arrow at a gun. Was that Cuckoo Lane or something that I'm remembering? Or... Who's... Okay, definitely not. 我明明杀的是世人的妖怪uh, you're not going to mention the big giant darkness cloud snake that went after you? Now,无论是身体还是心性, 告辞 Okay, that was said very quickly. It's Crimson Mass, a gift, a gift from Hu Yi. It was forged from the arrow that Hu Yi fired at the sun. There is nothing it cannot penetrate. Okay, simple attacks. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. From the arrow he shot at the sun, and it's a great sword. Well, he's a big guy. Attacks reduce super armor and deflect projectiles. Okay. 
But it does kind of make sense because you, know, you see yourself how broad it is. Yeah. Uh, Hello? Mo Ye? I've sworn never to force another sword. Please leave. <laughs> Good lord, that thing's bigger than she is. <笑>正是方才后羿所赠你这么个小小的女娃娃看不出来后羿为何对你轻言有加这天地间有很多魂荒之力可以用来锻炼肉身与兵器那边上的魂灯除了恢复状态外也能助你提升能力是我记下了 she, she must be some sort of spectral smith, it looks like. Because both yeah, the bones and such showing through. Yeah, I thought first she was naked. <laughs> abilities and soul slivers. At save points, you can spend souls to unlock abilities as well as manage your soul slivers. Let's see. Upgrade. Sidestep. Shuffle and egg is now cancelled. Okay. Okay, so quickly dodge out of something. Always useful, and because you don't rather not be caught in the attack move. Let's see, Twister deals more damage. Usable after a successful precision strike. Gains invisibility, invincibility for a short time and deals a large amount of damage in the direction that he is facing. Okay, so this is the counter strike. Or counter attack. And then I upgrade to it. Let's see. And there's specific attacks for <clears throat> the big blades and just in general. It reduces damage taken from guard breaking attacks. Precision strike, strike now can deflect, now deflects projectiles. Usable after shuffle. T okay, a double dodge. Always nice. Grants one more cha uh, charge to rejuvenation and then another upgrade for that. Okay. I'm presuming more will be unlocked later there, and hello. This is that would explain a few things. Sounds like there's some Hellgate open somewhere, and there's a lot more <laughs> spirit guards around. Okay. Did you say this was the forest of fawns? Um, I say more of hands than fawns at the moment. I I know pe some people say that na in modern nature could use a hand, but this is ridiculous. Oh dear. All right. <laughs> 我从小就很擅长的奔跑，没想到却用在了今日的逃亡。出生起我就没有离开过公园，但是齐国以我想象中要想很多。就在我厌倦了漫无目的的寻找时，在边境带营的经历给我带来了一项光明。公园里出现的
齐国现在的太公信田就此恢复使用。僵尸哪有那么快倒？听说宗室已经起兵了。哎，通缉令在我这儿呢。这位朋友，你怎么看？啊，我吗？上头的事儿我怎么知道？我要见将军，你们知道他在哪儿吗？这会儿没见着，在大营里面吧。那人谁呀、啊？不不不，这不知道啊，我以为你认识呢。哎呦，你快查查通缉令吧，搞不好就有这家伙。Okay, a bit of a two stooges case. Oh dear. Hmm. So we are walking into this place really easily at this rate. Oh, never mind. Uh, wait, how much time do you have left for this game? Uh, less than a minute. <laughs> hmm. I'm being a bit split on it at the moment. Same, like, it is interesting, but... It also feels like there's a lot of missing things going on in the dialogue. Yeah, what the hell is... Okay. Some sort of soul container. Uh, it, it, do you agree with me that it feels like there's something missing so far in this tour? Like, like if something was cut out? Hmm. Maybe it's a bit rushed. Okay, all the way up there. Hmm. Let's continue a little bit further until we get to this general. Maybe we can get a bit more information there. Yeah, but it, it is interesting and it's damn beautiful. Yes, the story so far is interesting, but something feels off. Yeah, let let's continue a few minutes more just to see if we get a bit more on this. <laughs> I don't think I heard bad things about this game or saw bad reviews about it, but I'll double check just in case. Hmm. Oh, hello. There we go. Pretty easy so far, but we are on easy mode after all, and hello. Okay. Oh, this will carry us over the wall we couldn't climb before. Or well, we couldn't jump over, I should say better. Oop. Almost lost you. 300 extra souls there. The, the numbers are... The, the added numbers are shown in grey, so that becomes a bit difficult to see. Uh, okay. Do we want to capture her alive or not? Sounds more like they have something else planned. Or maybe they want to rebel or something. You didn't get thrown away. Special state knockdown, yes. Take less damage, etc. Fiend Bay will launch down enemies into the air. Okay. So that, that gives a good reason for uh, not to try and stun lock enemies on the ground. Because they'll take less damage that way.
Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll definitely need to do a bit more research on this because yeah, I find it a bit. She ransacked his tent, but she didn't. It wasn't actually said if she found anything or not. Yeah, yeah. you see what I mean. Hmm. Like you feel like we skip. They are skipping things. This hmm. cat. Like there is a good stool potential here, but yeah, it, it can end up feeling like we missed something somehow. Yeah, that order going to say something at the end of it. Hello. Okay, now things are getting more interesting. Ooh, hello. Okay, a little tutorial. Uh, what the hell did we just walk into? No idea. Oh, you must be the general. Oh,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,我,
Is this supposed to be a, a fantasy European dynasty warriors? Basically, Bladestorm Wait, Nightmare. <laughs> really? Yep. Uh... Well, I, I, well, it's cool, hey, you know, it, it makes sense. Well, it screamed really Dynasty yeah. Wars like an. Oh, but what was the other one that's with Samurais? Samurai Warriors? I think so, yeah. Could be. That very that feel. Let's see, we have. The 100 years war scenario and nightmare scenario with more fantasy elements. Okay. Let's try for the original first. Wait. Charging uphill is a bad idea. I we know the French two battles are for certainly. Now I fight for England. France, England, I venture whithersoever the coin be greatest. That is the life of a mercenary. There's no right or wrong anymore. Indeed, the sun doth continue to rise, and afterwards to set. And yet, it is as if time itself doth stand still. Yeah, might not be the best time for philosophical talk in the middle of a battlefield. Yeah, do it. Sparked it's into existence weird. by the conflict over the true heir to the French throne. A bitter war between England and France ravaged the French countryside. As these two mighty rivals contested power, it soon became evident that there was to be no simple resolution to this conflict. And with no discernible end to the fighting, the war drained the spirits of the troops on both sides. The result? Each side sought support for their cause. They sought out mercenaries. And now, Another adventurous soul takes up arms and resolves to enter the merciless chaos of battle. So it's almost like the narrator for hmm. Soul Calibur games. I have not seen your face hitherto. You are one of those who would seek to become a mercenary. It is no simple task. Only the best prosper. Only the best survive. How long are you intending to stand there? Come hither, would you? Okay. Please either select the main character or create one to, partic uh, to participate in the Hundred Years War scenario. Okay. Go plenty of space for characters. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the use. Can I use the mouse for this? No. Okay. So it's moving off screen. Uh, let me get to the... Okay, that also works. That's your voice. And... Advance! Repel their attack! Do your best! <laughs> no fire! Oh, we, we can mess with the voice pitch. Attack! Good gods, no! Can we move? It's not moving to the sides. Advance! <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Current squad, swords, uh, home and end. Oh, that's on that. Okay. It, oh, hello. That's a bunch. Let's see. Berserker mace. Let's see. Captain Helium becomes Captain Helium. <laughs> Good gods! <laughs> uh, let's see. Light Mace. Mongol's Horseman. Mongol's Shortbow. Monk. Okay. Uh, let's 
Chi South China Spear. Let's see. I'm seeing clubs, bows, swords, horses, halberds. I'm guessing there's sort of a combat triangle in this game uh, with typical stuff like uh, axes are strong against uh, spears, swords are strong against axes, and spears good strong against swords, that sort of thing. Uh, let's just start, let's just try swords and we'll see how this goes. Yep. I'm a when they took a lot of liberties here, it says Vikings were no longer around the Hundred Year Wars. Mm, something of a ladies' man, huh? Tell me, but, what is your name? I shall remember that. I think this game Both came out originally on the PlayStation alike, Two come or here something. In order to petition assistance. I aggregate their appeals and pass them on to you. So, if there be anything you require, please speak with me. Well, I have a contract for the battle in Normandy. Normandy is known as the gateway to France. The English shall invade by sea, and the French are mustering troops to stop them. Both England and France seek as many fighters as possible. It should be ideal for a mercenary's first assignment. Dang. That's it. I think I remember a little, a little bit of history about Normandy. From, if I remember right, uh, when when Vikings still were around, they ventured there. Uh, the French were there. You said, uh, "We will do what you guys raiding. How about we give you this land, yeah, and you Norman fight for name. us." Yeah, has what well, normally they got its name, but the white just said, "Well, it is it's a good farmland. You know what? Sure. Please be a buffer <laughs> against the English for us. <laughs> yeah, it's named after the Normans. I don't think that, that was the idea to begin with. They just didn't want to get raided, for they have been raided by Vikings in the past in Paris and other places, so they knew how fearsome Vikings were. So having them give them land and have." Powerful warriors sound very tempting. Yeah. <laughs> then being a meat shield is just extra. Let's see. A lot of people oh, are saying that sound. Weird, and one of the reasons that this uh, is. Um, one of the reasons is that this is a blood feud. The rules are always intermarrying. Why? Uh, what? Why it was the conflict over the uh, French succession that triggered this whole war anyway. Both sides press their own claims and the fighting goes on. Still, for us mercenaries, it means more work. Also, did I start the timer? No, I did. I forgot to start the timer. I'll start it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you tried pressing delete during battle, it allows you to review information like skills and actions for your squads. What? Know thyself, I know thy enemy, and you uh, shall win a hundred battles. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, Th that, that sounds like a weird choice of button. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I believe, I think this is a port from a, one of the PlayStations, at least certainly not the second, probably the, not the, yeah, probably not the first, but probably the second or so. So there's going to be some funky... Second or uh, third. Uh, there's going to be some funky key combinations. Uh, standing at the counter with his hands that wide and leaning over as he does, that dude is intense. <laughs> well, he probably has to be when his entire <laughs> clientele is heavily armored mercenaries. Oh dear. Hmm. Looks like France has the advantage here, but to be honest, I don't see much progress. It only means more opportunities for mercenaries. Our novices can be such fools. They always go in with a flashier unit actions. They underestimate the power of the normal attack. The good thing about the page down is that it gets you in close under any conditions. The normal attack is the staple of battle. Okay. Get so excited at seeing all the, of these conflicts. It shows how much we mercenaries are needed. That was a bit useless. Yeah, no. Something the people this don't know is, is you at the moment. 
some people in some fancy protein mercenaries to be ready to betray them contract them for just more money if you bribe them but here's the thing normally it was almost impossible to bribe a mercenary for once you've been bribed and it gets known yeah, yeah good luck getting hired again uh, let's see the english forces at Ograns has begun uh, have begun their advance south their goal is to capture Odan and Belfans and create a staging point for further expansion into the southern region. And the French forces at Esquay advanced into... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fail on pronouncing a lot of these French names. Uh, Epagnes and Rouen uh, in the north. Their plan was to stop the southern incursions of the English there. Let's see. Uh, which sides are we supporting this first one? The English or the French? No idea. I am. I, I don't even know what started the damn thing or why it lasted so long. You well, let's just start from the top then. Firstly, I must advise you that your prime concern should be that of winning renown. Defeat the famed commanders. Capture the most unyielding of strongholds. That is how you will sell your name. Not of note shall befall you if none knows your name. Now, you must be on your way. Okay, Normandy, located in northwestern France, also faced England across the strait. Because of this, the English and the France were constantly fighting each other over for the area. Currently, the French forces have the advantage as they are located on the mainland, although the English still control, uh, controlled a major port in the area and were gradually increasing their strength. The battle was only going to intensify and both forces resorted to hiring as many merchants, mercenaries as they could. Ah. On your way to the battlefield, you run across a small battle. With your lack of experience, it, you know, this, would seem to, you know, this would seem to be the perfect place to practice your skills. After contemplating whether or not to join in, you are approached by someone you have never seen before. You are new, are you not? Why do you look so worried? Alright, let me tell you what you need to know. Let us start with leading troops. <laughs> okay, random tutorial man. Let's see. A group of the same uh, a group of the same troop type fighting together is called a squad. Approach the allied squad you see in front of you and press whatever that is in order to con take control of them. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Escape is not options. Press whatever. Uh, this is going just swimmingly already. No. Retreat from your first battle. Well, that, 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 that's a. That, um. Oh, there you go. Uh, I can't. I can't even attack. Okay. What the hell? Mouse does nothing. Uh oh. Okay, I feel like we... <laughs> that port might have been a disaster. Okay, controller. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sometimes maybe it's better to play this with a controller. Wait, oh, what the... There's timers on our attacks? Oh, there's those... Okay, yeah, I... I <laughs> uh, they had said that this game is hard to get into. What? Yeah. Elephants? Shall we... I'm pretty sure those who did not appear during the 100 years war. They, I feel they took a lot of liberties with this game. Yeah, uh, how... Seriously, how do I get control here? No. I think the squad you are supposed to control is already dead. Uh, and this is why we keep backup games installed in case things get wacky. Yeah. What is supposed to be the 
normal attack. The, so far, I don't know if we should stream this or not for... We, we had way too little info to work with, even. Yeah, no. <laughs> and a tutorial that doesn't seem to really function. Or at least it's not keeping track of... Uh, let's see. Uh, you have returned. And how went your first battle? Well, oh. this is the life of a mercenary. In oh, the current mate. climate of conflict, I am certain there shall be another battle for you very soon. Mark well, though, that one as inexperienced as yourself may not pick and choose. I would advise you to take what is offered. Tis the sole way you will earn renown. Take this. You shall be glad of it. War Diary. Okay. Uh, you can use skill points to raise the level of your books. Raising book level strengthens the core abilities of your squad. Okay. Select the book. Uh, let's see. Swords. Okay. And you stop the skill points. Best to keep the book levels fairly balanced. Keep an eye on how much SP you need for your next level up. Which is double now. Okay. Uh, let's see. System. Settings. Anything on controls here? Hmm. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, I... I get the feeling this is one of those games where you need to really figure things out on your own at first. Okay. Uh, yeah, almost like if you were to stream this, it's more like you need to, uh, need to investigate and try it out several times first until we understand how the damn thing works. Uh, yeah. 2015, holy. Options, controls. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, left, right, right, right. I L J, yeah, very obviously a console port. Summon squad left shift. Okay. Oh yeah, you would definitely, you would definitely need to swap out all of these controls first before this would be even become playable. Okay, that for the moment at least, that's a that's a good nope on uh, streaming this game. And uh, yeah, I'll. I'll I'll take a quick BRB and then we'll continue on to the next game and we'll add in an extra one as well. So uh, I still forgotten to move to put the new art on the BRB screen. But uh, yeah, let's see. 28 now. We'll add in whatever time I'm away to extend the stream. All right.
back. And yeah, we'll add, we can add 10 minutes to one of the games we do like. All right, and welcome back. Okay, I probably should have filled my water bottle as well, but that takes a lot shorter. Anyways, then, yeah, let's move on to the fourth game. Yeah, for so far, I see nothing. I, I don't even see shot at the moment. Oh, yeah, that wait. Does it get disabled now that I go to or cleaned out when I go to the BRB screen? Okay, and yeah, it's very obvious what the next game is, huh? Blast. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game got quite a bit of attention a, a bit back. I think they actually did a crossover with Bloodstained at one point or something. And that is a game so we true. certainly enjoyed. Yeah. Is the shot working at the moment? Uh, let me test. Uh, there. Da, da. Yeah, but but as well, double check it okay, before it we go out. ham. Okay, it only got cleaned yeah. out. Uh, let me do a little test then. So. All right, launch. Uh, launch replied. Okay, I'm guessing if the BRB screen is on long enough, then it gets uh, cleared out or something. I'll, I'll, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to go back to putting the doing the BRB screen as an overlay on top of this. Yeah, and also I prefer to be able to see shot like this, for that means we won't accidentally miss when someone says something. Yeah, for I'll I'll just have to change what the BRB command does just. Uh, remove my avatar from this and put on a B BRB text. Should be easy enough. All right. And also, so we do... I find this menu screen very disturbing. Yeah, that's uh, a few too many hands. <laughs> but uh, disturbing is what this game is all about. So let's start a pilgrimage on the sec on the first save and start the timer. It is not the sun rising, but our sins. Anonymous. I think I've heard of this game, and yeah, disturbing is a word for it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Splatter Cat play it, I think, one episode, and I just decided not for me. The heck? And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Okay, welcome to the Pinhead Club. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Uh, be, be, yeah. 
Bilary Flasks. Press left button to consume one of your Bilary Flasks and restore vitality. These consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling by a predio. Find uh -oh. empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Uh oh. I just realized something. Hmm? Why are you playing this again? Hmm? Oh, you don't know, do you? What? You don't know who you're playing, do you? Yeah, I know. I know a decent amount about this game, but uh, yeah, this this game is basically what if Christianity went hardcore into self-flagellation and such. Hilliard, this is a. I mean, uh, this game was class A, is a Dark Souls like. Yeah. Okay, basically a two D Dark Souls. Uh, Okay, just hold the button longer yeah. to jump higher. Okay, this is something from Lance here. Scene is bad. What the heck? Scene gets worse. Uh, okay. I think that was a jab at me earlier in the cutscene. <laughs> Could be, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of these guys. And wait, wait, was only the heck heard? If I said what the heck earlier? Uh, the BRB screen doesn't have any sound on it from. Uh, you or me. So, yeah, you would have been cut off. I, I was talking about when I spoke in the cutscene, not B or B. Right. Uh, Pierre Duo, press Y to rest at the, uh, at the thing, saving your game and refilling your health and flats. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visit at Pierre Duo. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. Okay. Oh, the... the And of course, we can smash those. Uh, yeah, in the cutscene, the heck was still that was all that came through, and just at the right moment. <laughs> Hello. W Warden of the Silent Sorrow. Uh, Hello there. Uh, ow. Uh, yeah, this is a fight we're not going to win at this rate. You're about to die. Okay, let's try this a bit. Less aggressive. There we go. A long path ahead. That's just a little bit of health left. <laughs> Requiem Eternum. They rest in eternally or something, I believe that means. And you can easily guess uh, what the age rating for this game was. Yeah, this is not meant for kids. Not at all, no. Uh, do we want to go... Okay, let, let's go back to that resting place. And I think that thing won't respawn. If it does, uh, we'll be in trouble. Yeah, but I, I could see some 13-year-olds. Uh, depend, depend a lot on their 13-year-old be able to play this, but... Don't hand this to a 4- or 5-year-old or 7-year-old. Yeah. Just don't. You need key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Oh, hello. The holy line. Fretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. 
I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Okay, that's a better explanation as to why a, <laughs> a main character doesn't speak than most of the times. Okay, and I'm gonna blame Star Wars for this. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. Mm -hmm. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dull, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one, at the end of the trail, Carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Bell that grows into what? Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you. Sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob. That will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember something of someone playing this. Saying that this might have been inspired by a more exaggerated version of the Puritan belief, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. I might be very wrong here. That's... Okay, it has a door attached to it, okay. Hmm. I'm guessing that's going to be used somewhere. Oh, we could have just walked this way. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I'm guessing what that means is that we'll have three bosses to slay. Oh, bloody heck. So I can say this, I would not be surprised if the actual inspiration for this was from uh, just Valaglans in general. Yeah. Let's see. Parry, counterattack, retribution. Press right mouse button to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press X at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. Okay. I think you found a Wheel of Time plan. Uh, okay. Let's just stick with normal attacks for a moment. Hmm. Well, I'm getting the feeling that parries and such are so it's just some <laughs> wheelie guys. Oh, hello. Parrying is a system you probably want to figure out sooner rather than later. What is this? Dear gods. Radius of this Forsaken Army. In order to use this prayer, open the inventory and equip it. Okay. Song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor. Yeah, add this one. Through floors and uh, <clears throat> finds its path through the floor. It continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ring of a laced shell horn uh, used to precede this chant. 
but now only silence remains. Okay. Equip a prayer in your inventory and press left trigger to invoke it. Prayers and some combat techniques use the ferv uh, fervor. fervor. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor bar. I'm probably saying that wrong. Fervor? Okay. More of these things. Okay. Luckily they die in only one hit. Okay, that was for something. It curious? I'm guessing we could have done an execution on that one then. If we knew how to do those yet. We can't jump that high to get out of the mud. Yeah, yeah that was what I wanted to do. Hello. Advanced technique air impulse. Plus, yeah, press right trigger plus X in the air to ascend after hitting an enemy. You can do this up to two times before landing. Okay. The heck Grabbing. is. Is a cherub in there? It looks like it. Children of Moonlight. You'll find them caged all over Castolia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Too early. Evus Miracle. I can't say the name or hear that just word without thinking of. General Grievous with a ha halo over his head. <laughs> oh, uh, oh dear. straight line so far okay what do you what do those symbols mean unsure might be these hmm. could be yeah Let's see is there one for the yeah it is probably them Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tirso is my name. And so who of you are we talking to at the moment? There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. You might want to wash your mouth after each kiss, though. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. Really? The, the, that's our lazy way to, to, way to not tell you which. Yeah, probably just whatever junk we can find, really. Nice little animations on them. And the hell is this? Oh yeah. Uh oh. Just nice animations and design in general. Yeah. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. 
us and wipe away our tears. Because it is an act of repentance. Okay, did it just get upgraded? Maybe. The virtue of May Culpa hath descended. May Culpa shrines. Uh, visit shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement. Okay, those eight uh, things uh, are currency there probably to unlock uh, combat techniques. Visit additional shrines. Increase May Culpa strength to access more powerful techniques. Okay, so it's a shop. Let's see. Bleeding Miracle reach mastery in the technique of casting Blessed Blood. After launching, the projectile causes a sacred explosion at the furthest point from its trajectory, causing additional damage. It consumes fervor. Okay, let's see. We have not enough for any of these. Let's see. Okay, each of these are locked under how many of these shrines we have found. So at the moment we could go for the last words, or if we had the we have unlocked these, but we need don't have enough currency to unlock to acquire them. Uh, let's see. Performs a fourth combo finish attack. Sinful Wrath. Concentrates the power of the May Kulpa on the blade, allowing the penitent one to release its full potential in a single but incredibly uh, devastating attack. So a heavy attack. Weight of Sin. It takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. And Sacred Thrust. Uh, a pen the penitent one takes advantage of the dodge impulse to thrust May Culpa at the enemy's uh, furthest away. Oops. I'm guessing May Culpa is the name of the sword. Maybe? And that's locked. But it does look like they're holding a copy of it, or a similar blade. Hmm. Now, so I think you guys might want to do a bit more than just kiss at the wounds. At least this one and the one with the bandages below has a good idea of it. It sounds for me... Oh no. Oh no. I think I remember something. I think I know why I recall that. How so then? I think I will have to double check at this at some point. But I think I have heard that there was some priest during the Black Plague that tried to heal wounds with the kisses. Phalanx of Brandon the Gravedigger. Brennan draws throughout Mullings, dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether friend, family, or foe. And when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Uh, I think that's his dick. <laughs> Why the fuck did someone cut off his dick and toss it out of the village? <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. No, from the look, look like that, like. I, I, I might have to look this up for... I feel like they took some inspiration for something for some time period that just... Yeah, just went... More than just ham. Yeah. Oh, those just throw stones at us. Early. They just get squished underneath their own... Not crosses, but statues. Let's see, what's over here then? Uh, Alright, if I remember right, it was, I think it was doing the, uh, the Black Plague, or Black Death, or how whatever people it's supposed to be called, it had many names. Uh, yeah. At the. You, the wool Flaglands, just went rampant. As for them, it was basically the end of the world, and they thought they were being punished. Yeah, there we go. 
okay, just off with their heads. Okay. Exemplaris excommunicatus. Okay. Uh, press any button. I'm pressing the buttons. There we go. Okay. Just could. <laughs> okay. Uh, dash. Press right trigger to dodge. Use the dodge action to crouch through small places. Avoid physical attacks and pass through enemies without suffering damage. Okay. Yeah. I kind of forgotten about that already from the one example that we were given of it. Okay. Why is it here? here then? What's this? Dove skull. Oh, equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Okay. And where is that then? Quest items, relics. There we go. Skull of a bird. Drilled as a. Drilled? <clears throat> drilled as a colad. Its apparent frailness uh, slightly strengthens the penitent's one's def uh, defenses. Okay. So a, a bit less damage taken. Hmm. Okay, the timer is about to go off. We've already passed two hours in total with this stream. Hmm. Uh, shall we leave it here then, or move on to one of the extras for a short while? Wait, we already played four games. Yeah, but uh, Bladestorm got cut short because, well, we couldn't oh, right. really control things. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, in a cut here, we can do one more. It says, you did take a little BRB break. Yeah, so we can extend somewhat for that. For the moment, yeah, though... Yeah, it has, has been a while. Actually, there's no real need to save, since if we would stream this game, it would be... Uh, how do we get out? Uh, I, I'm split about it. Uh, here we go. About streaming this game. There we go. I've heard that it is good, but it might... Hmm. We have played through the entire... Well, most of uh, Bloodstains. Uh, we might just need to be a, do a bit of research on it. Yeah. Do, I think I recall here people liked it, but I think, also think I recall there was a lot of drama about it as well. It could be. Okay. Uh, let's see. It should capture any second now. Come on. There we go. Running on the infernal engine. And using Bink. It, that uh, should say a bit about how old this, well, the original of this is, because this is a remake, not really a re release. And I'll just shut up for all of this. Tell me again. Why are we in a vampire ghetto after sunset? Be patient. Wait. Watch. This is the one we've been watching. This is a waste of time. Not vampire. Half vampire. Fewer weaknesses. She must feed. <laughs> Picked a dangerous place to feed. She's hunting. Looking for her father. Oh, 
Brimstone Society. The Brimstone Society needs her. We will extend the invitation. Time to go. Where is he, bitch? <laughs> when you just want to say fuck you to half the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. I remember I actually tried to look up lore about this game to see if they had interest in lore and... I found nothing! I only found cutscenes and gameplay. Nothing about lore! Zero. Uh, yeah, this game or this franchise was uh, a bit infamous for a time, but yeah, this is Blood Rain, the Terminal Cut re-release, to be accurate. If I recall correctly, there were actually three games of this. Uh, count, not counting, uh, not not double counting the original release and the re-release. There's this one. There's. Uh, just better said the original. There is Blood Rain 2, I believe, and then there is a 2D uh, brawler, I believe, as well. And uh, yeah, just a bit of a preview of what sort of gameplay we'll be looking at. And yeah, this is very much a 90s game, I believe, or 90s style. Uh, no, why is it infamous? Uh, I don't know exactly. That might be one of them, <laughs> one of the reasons. But yeah, just people. Yeah, probably just people bitching about well, darkness, uh, sexuality, and all of that. Basically, the, the stuff a lot of people typically bitch about about video games. Like video games cause violence. Uh, well, it's exactly been proven not to. Yeah. Dozens of times. It, it some people just need help early on. And instead of helping them, they just play video games. Yeah, it, it's basically people refusing to, to accept the reality that they fucked up themselves and blaming things on others. Okay, let's go into more, training. Yeah, like, sure. Like, if someone is unstable already, maybe they should not play some okay. games to begin with. But they should also have help. Yeah. Okay, 1933, Louisiana. Okay, well, well, obviously we're playing as the titular Blood Rain with her blades shrunken quite a bit compared to the cutscene, like those things were sticking out above her head. Oh, Who is a, a vampire, a half vampire, who has a lot of the same powers, but also some of the same weaknesses, like, say, the water. Yeah, but weren't they supposed to have less weaknesses? Yeah, but she... <laughs> I believe one of the weaknesses she doesn't have is for sunlight and such. Alright. Less does not mean no weaknesses. There we go. Yeah, for some say, say they have the... Uh, no weaknesses. I guess it depends on the franchise and lower. Locked. And the windows are blocked. Let's hope they didn't barricade the door from the inside. Let's see. Rebound kicked space, then re releasing press again near any character or break mode environment, please. <laughs> Unneeded slow mo. Oh, it's blocked from the other side, but there seems to be a weak spot in the wall. Kindly make us a new door, Miss Ray. I'd like to investigate. Um, tear it apart, Ray. 
There we go. Nope. Oh yeah, something is going on here. It is basic attacks just to tear this thing up. Good girl. <laughs> okay, that's Holy. going to get come a call. Yeah, and I uh, see Lons also noticed it. Yeah. Oop. Okay. <laughs> just a top, a bit of the top from the barber. There is really no need for this much slow mo. B one. What? Okay, you're just showing off, Mince. Okay, caps lock for blood rage. Show off. Bloodlust <laughs> satisfied. Not bad. Shh. There's one. Use your aura sense to see it in the dark. Okay. Easy prey, if you want it. He's a big meal. Look how bright his aura is. He has no idea we're here. He's not panicking or hurt. Yet. This one's yours. Take him down or grab a bite to eat. Yeah, get close and tap E. Oh, there's a space missing there. Uh, oh dear. Th more puns, Lons. Really, more puns? can see an enemy up ahead that yeah. and yeah we'll see a lot of this sort of thing that is how actually good where to now you tell me use your aura sense this game seems interesting but there was already some concerns yeah, it, 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 it is a re-release after all, Let's not a remake the oh. or remaster. It, oh, is, uh, that's not an issue I'm worried about. I'm more worried about uh, if we'll be even able to post it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, we Well, we'd find out. So, Damn, I guess we could since... With your relatives. They should have more uh, sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. Sort of sticking a finger in my eye doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society. So everything must go according to plan. What do we know so far? Fine. <laughs> Newspapers claim the people of Morton, Louisiana are turning into some type of monster. They're calling them mutates. Doctors think a new disease is the cause, so they quarantine the area. You make me proud. There are numerous known biological masses in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village sort of a radical cure, don't you think? You'll be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. The hell of a cold. That's called a wait there. Yeah, wait there One for a bit. One of the biological masses was found at the end of this road, in a graveyard behind the church. We'll meet up there. What's that mound by the telephone pole? What is it? It is, was, human. Might be remains from the final stages of the disease, but there's something not quite right about it. Let's check inside. Mm, seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. I think this game could work better with the remake instead of a re-release because some things are quite chunky still. Items like some vampires. Okay, another another weakness that is missing. You should be all set. I'm going to leaf through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. <laughs> <laughs> Snap neck.
But the game doesn't look bad from where it was made, but... Yeah, I agree, it, a remaster would probably be better than the re-release. Yeah, it's just the animations are a bit clunky. But we've seen worse. Yeah, and... As I said, this, I think I said before, I don't mind Yigo physics. As long as it's not overdone and it makes sense where it's used. Like, I get annoyed if I see someone in thick plate, plate armor and eagles. That annoys me a bit for, yeah, plate don't jiggle. Yeah. And with any guns that we have, uh, we can fire them with the right mouse button, they will lock on automatically. And we can, of course, just grab whatever weapons our enemies drop. What the heck? I think those weapons here is based on a real weapon. Just forgot what this, its name is. Cold 44, that's probably a Colt. Smith & Wesson double action revolver. That's probably uh, a I meant the blades. Oh, uh, so, see, they, they don't remind me of those bato batons you see police use. If I remember right, uh, if I remember right, they originated in that wall stretches South Asia, I think. Thirty feet high, I can see that. So, from what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. Feared what? What's this? After our dark year in 1873, the first stone of this great wall of fortitude was laid. With this plaque mounted in the year 1888 of our Lord, construction is complete. May this wall of fortitude, with the grace of God, shield us from evil and keep us safe, now and forever. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in those books. You should take out those biomasses. The first one's in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later. I'm guessing a certain someone uh, uh, had an ancestor in the 30s in Louisiana. Did, did, did you just... Did you just dab with guns? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't actually know. I wasn't looking at it. Okay. blood rage is full. Okay, that's the triangle. But what happened is, as quick the dialogue was over, both your hands moved to point at the same direction. Yeah, because there's it was this guy behind the tree here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it made it look like she dabbed. Or crudely dabbed, so to speak. Yeah. I think Blood Rain here might have actually been the uh, the reason why a lot of people grew to like uh, black with red accents. Because her, her outfit is quite nice. Uh, wait, wait, can you repeat that? Her outfit is quite nice. Uh, a red accent! I was wondering, wait, what accent was he talking about? It can be a bit finicky with this tight roping. With getting onto it at least. Quick save, investigate the biomass, and we're already pointing at something over there. And out of guns. Yeah, a lot of combat is just going to be running circles around things and hitting them. There isn't really a block or counter button, I believe. Oh, okay, we just have different ones. Uh, is there anything about how to swap between the weapons? Or at least equip the heavy weapons that we have? I think we can carry. I think we can carry around two pistols, two rifles, two machine guns, and then one extra, one heavy weapon. Or so I might be off with the specific counts in the first two. I think I'm gonna. Did you say say her weapons might be inspired by Tonfas earlier? Yeah. I'm gonna have to look off. I don't know. About them, but I, I named yeah. uh, them. I think it was. Yeah, I think it's Tonfa. Just unsure how many of them were actually bladed. Uh, 
Not many, I believe. Uh, okay, from Lance here, if I were to remake the game, I would definitely change the movement speed. It can be very jarring when you get into the mix. Yeah. I agree with you. I, I don't mind it being quick, but... Yeah, if it's so quick that you're barely able to keep up or get nauseous, or just jarring, yeah, then it definitely needs to be adjusted. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. What the? Or, is that the biomass? That looks more like some sort of spider. Oh dear. But yeah, I would say, when I read the term the speed is key from a certain YouTuber, there are times with too much speed just makes things worse. That was not the biomass, that was just spiders. Mutants. Big spiders. Remember, I thought I saw something there, yeah, but it might have been a bat. <laughs> really? It's. It stands still. That out. Wait, are you moving so fast that it seems like the bat is standing still? Yeah, uh, I don't think it's that. Especially since these things are moving as well. Hmm. Bird is just gliding somehow. Yeah, we, we were sure that's a bird or a bat, but it looked more like a bat. Yeah, I think it was a bat. Yeah. Oh, hello. Nightmare horror you are. Okay, we just cut off two of. It's it's wait. still it's still freaking alive even though we cut up two of its limbs. Oh wait, that spider like it tentacles and a leech mouth. What the heck is that? But apparently, it may not be a spider after all. Yeah. It might be something worse. Yeah, this is some sort of mutant Ovich horror. Uh, judging from, from the fact that it came crashing out of the grave here, it might be the actual end stage of this disease. Uh, also, I think it would be a really bad idea to drink the blood of these people, but I'm guessing Actually, one, yeah. thing, one thing with the, well, one thing with vampirism is that it gives immunity to diseases, since vampirism itself is generally considered a disease or seen as. Functions as. No. Hmm. I don't know. If, no. If there's a limit to that. Let's go completely mad with this. There we go. Now just carve these things up. Yeah, and there's mince. Well done. Strange creatures, aren't they? Strange isn't the first word that comes to mind. What are they? I'm not sure, but it seems they carry a disease that causes mutations in humans. The mutates? Right. And remember those sludge mounds we've been finding everywhere? What about them? Humans. What's left of them? The spider creatures regurgitate what they eat. The strange doesn't even begin to cover it. Okay, so not your end states. Hello? Somebody there? Open up. What, the morass was gone? Is what gone? The morass wreck. Swamp monster. That's what the Creole call the creatures. Are they gone? Yes, now open the door. Mon dieu, le diable! Nice welcome for the rescue team. Who are you? I'm Jean Sigmund. I'm the grave digger. What happened here? I don't know. I hid in here when those, when those things came. They, can, they can't get in without them holes. Jean, you stay put. This place is obviously safe. We'll bring other survivors here. We not leaving? Hmm? Not yet. You'll be safe here for a while longer. Okay, okay. Send them here to farm here to main mausoleum and we will. If you find anyone that is healthy and alive, send them here. But don't forget about the nests. 
Seems like they built that wall for nothing. Maybe. Or maybe this time around, things got worse. These creatures are very insect-like. Seems every 30 years, they swarm. <laughs> I almost forgot. I have something for you. Zip. <laughs> It's essentially a harpoon. It helps with feeding and has a decent range. Thanks. I'll protect the mausoleum. You go find those nests. I sketched out a map of approximate locations. The reports weren't exact, so you'll have to search the area thoroughly. Once you're back, we'll head over that wall. There must be some type of source where all these creatures come from. Okay, if this started before... Yeah, if, if this started in the 18th century, then, uh, yeah, being almost <laughs> Some two centuries... might be very tricky to get into. Use your brain and all of your abilities to get into each house. To have something like this be going on for almost two centuries, it might be a bit late to uh, <laughs> a bit of a slow response to finally get started on this. And again, the... I don't know when exactly the Brimstone Society, which these two work for, actually started. I think there, I think there was probably something said about it in the manual. Now, I have an original copy of this game, so I could go look that up. Yeah, I was going to say it is. Nuke is not the solution to every problem. Uh, that, that, that's actually a quote from Aliens. Or, yeah, aliens, I think, not oh, alien, aliens, the second one. Oh, yeah, there might be. See? I think Josh Tri if Hayes uh, made a video about this game a bit back. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I see the first, the second one, and some of the other alien movies, and I think. I'm always debating if I like the first one or second one the most for they're good in different ways. Yeah. Like the first one is very good horror. The second one is very good action horror, so to speak. I guess in a, I guess in a way you could say this game was a bit of a, <laughs> a precursor for Revengeance with how much we're cutting these things up. Oh bloody heck. Uh, oh yeah, we, we, we're gonna stream that uh, madness, aren't we? Yep, that's just certain. I kind of wonder why that game suddenly got popular again. For apparently, it's very old. No, not very old. It, it is. A, it has a few years on it for certain. But it's just, uh, yeah, meme culture became a bit of a thing after it started, and the uh, yeah memes are a bit memes in a different way are uh, one of the uh, things that are, comes up in it game quite a bit. Yeah, though it seems like it came out years ago and only recent years or during the pandemic it actually in a way got revived in popularity. I yeah, even heard that the in its initial launch it had poor sales, but years later it's exploded in popularity. Okay, and we've got an ex we got an extension on our attack combo. Survivor, no longer surviving. Okay. Okay, just completely blow him in half. I think there's like one or two movies of Blood Rain. I think there was one. Probably, uh, probably made by Uwe Boll, though, and hello, you're a bit of a chunkier version. Yeah, the only thing I know about it is but from mentions, when I tried to find some lore videos about it, and there was not many, if at all, but just talked about the game, and they they talked about the franchise a little bit, and I think they mentioned that the movie apparently were worse than the games. I get me hands on her. I make her eat her magic. Who? Marasa. Fonties as Sef Marie la voodoo priestess. What about her? She hook up with the old German who came here. 
She go out to both graveyard and she do black magic. And she's responsible for this? We, oui. She and the demon. Scary man. She said she going out there to raise the mud of the underworld. Must be one attractive lady. You better get going to the female Tomain mausoleum. It's the only safe place in town. I will. Pistol, I'll take that. Okay, I actually didn't know that there was anyone in here. Downstairs. Oh. And a good reason not to go downstairs. Where, where did you come from? Good question. <laughs> okay. But the legs were still following us. Uh, is he from Lance? Uh, do you want to leave it Lance? Kazi is pretty damn chilled, shutting it up with someone who just smashed through her window. Well, this place has gone to hell, so it's smashing through her window is the least of the crimes going on. Oh dear. Let's see. I'm guessing, yeah, there's one of the biomasses in this place, so where yeah. can we bust in? Uh, what do you feel about this game currently? Uh, I've played through it before. I don't think I ever managed to completely finish it, because the, the final boss is a bit of a bitch. But other than that, I I don't have too many bad uh, things to say about this game, or at least that I remember. All right. So would you consider this streamable? Uh, likely. Repulsor rifle. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be okay with it. Just. Hmm. Ooh, it's a straight up machine gun. Maybe I get used to the whole speed thing. And it could just be running so quickly because of my computer. So it might need to be a frame rate locked or something. Wouldn't we in here? Oh no, we couldn't get in here. Uh, let's see, there must be somewhere that we can bust through then. Or we just going through the back. I think it also may be a case of just me getting used to it since... I don't think we play mini games where you are this... this speedy. Please don't kill me! Go to the Famille Termain Mausoleum. You'll be safe there. Anything you say? Just don't kill me, miss. See? That's all of this place. Oop. The fuck did you even squeeze through? There's no, there's no opening there. There is an opening there. I, I just saw a boarded up wall. I saw a broken wall. It was poorly covered up. Uh, let's see, how uh, let's see here. Weapons? From Lance, that now I can, I can finally read this. I can see the CP through this area right now. And we have some prime real estate right now on the water. Right on the water. Oh dear. That'd be a sail pitch. Yeah. Okay, the timer went off, but shall we go a bit longer with this or call it here? We are uh, probably good to call it here, for we are quite over time. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll see about if this game needs to be uh, frame rate restricted or something, or if it is just naturally that quickly. And yeah, let's move over here. <clears throat> uh, let's see, for next week, we should have a lot of opportunities for streams. Not tomorrow, since I'll be going from one uh, early shift to another. But uh, after Tuesday, I'll be done with work, or should be done with work, according to my uh, schedule. So Wednesday to Saturday, we could do two streams each if wanted. I'd be up for that. So uh, we, we didn't get much chance to stream this week. Yeah, uh, though we did get enough to get uh, yeah some No One Lives Forever and <laughs> Shantae in. Uh, we of course it we. 
uh, we don't have to stream on every day. We could just take uh, one or two days off. Uh, we'll definitely try to get in two No One Lives Forever streams and at least one Shantae stream. Um, I'll need a, I don't think we'll be able to do another Showcase Sunday because next week I'll work. Uh, but we should be able to get in another Minecraft stream and maybe some extras, like for Dark Tide, because that is proving to be very popular. And it isn't exactly like Vermintide, but I am starting to get used to it. But it'd be the way if it was exactly like Vermintide, since, you know. Yeah. It's supposed to be in 40k, so we, you kind of expect it to be a bit different as well. Yeah. But for now, then. Let's swap this over to the browser so we can look for someone to raid. And let's see, as was the previous case, a lot of people are oh, streaming dear. Dark Tides. Uh, K9 and Horatio the Dwarf are still at that. Derpy Dew is streaming Monster Hunter Rise, though. And WBPL76 is streaming Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Okay. Okay. That's a bit uh, surprising. Touch Scaly Tail is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. Then we have Dogga Douglas McDog once again doing Tomb Raider or the, the level designer. And the only Blue Empire, aka Lilith, is streaming Persona 5 Royale. Like that that is what I've spent, I've mentioned it a few times before, I think, but I would want to stream that with a spoilerless guide, but it would it would it would be a real long term project. Like we would have to do one or two streams a week, and then we'd probably still be busy with it for like a year or so. Yeah, that makes me hesitant about streaming it. <laughs> or we could just make it uh, one uh, stream a week, and yeah, like the with Shante and such. But it would go on for a lot. <clears throat> oh dear anyways beyond those we have the recommended channels with Commissar Azura who is just chatting at the moment okay could be that they are preluding for something but then we have Bonefoot That's an, that and Azura are a new one I think who is streaming the Lion King I'm presuming that is the, the old NES Lion King uh, let me check site is muted yes uh, let me take a peek Oh, yeah, that's the old NES uh, Lion King. Then we have Dandy Floss, who is streaming Stream Racer. Let's see, 24 hour subathon thingy. Okay. Uh, also a new one. Then we have uh, Iggy Maid, Shadows Over Loathing. I've heard of the Loathing games, and I, from what I know, they are satire like or something. Then we have Black Magic 1982 who is streaming Alice in Madness Returns. We ha we actually showcased that at, uh, a month or two back or something. More. And then we have Starcat plays Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Probably the more the recent one instead of the original. <clears throat> so any of those sound interesting? Hmm. <laughs> See, I'm a bit unsure. Um, let's see. I'd say Black Magic or Derpy Do myself. Yeah, I gotta agree with you. Derpy Do or uh, Black Magic. <laughs> and then the choice of which belongs to you? Oh, the the pressure. <laughs> or just flip a coin. You know what? Let's see. Go in. I really should have filled my water bottle because now I'm thirsty. <laughs> He's actually gone okay. off to look for a coin. <laughs> there. I'm looking for a copper coin from... Oh, bloody heck. This is old. This is a... Oh, wait, no, it's the one the newer ones. Oh. I seriously forgot we around 2016 introduced two kroner coins. Okay. 
But you should have one, five, ten in coin. Nobody will be introduced a two kroner. All right. Uh, okay. Time. Okay. Face derpy. Makes sense. Yeah. And the crown will be uh, uh, black magic. Also makes yeah. sense. So I mean, now flip the coin. Hey, come back! <laughs> it flew off and rolled away. Uh, I guess that counts as landing on its side. <laughs> it landed. It landed. It's, it's a crown. Okay, black magic then. So, copy that. Go to our place and slash raid paste. Okay, but before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Lance, for chatting along. You're always welcome. Uh, <clears throat> you're always welcome and appreciate it. And thank you as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, and also thank you, Lance, for joining us. It was always fun to have some extra one joining this madness. Yeah, the, the more the merrier. And Just don't that... try to kill me. <laughs> uh, with that, let's... No. Come on. Okay. I... There we go. Raid has started. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Us... <clears throat> Anyone who has been watching without an account or anything like that, thank you all the same anyways as well. And uh, yeah, Tuesday we'll be continuing with No Unless Forever. Um, yeah, but until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for the seagulls. <laughs> Don't swallow your microphone. Oh, I just had to lean closer to clean off a smudge on my screen. <laughs> uh, until next time, everyone. Be safe. Stream deck.